Hi guys, welcome back everyone. In this video we are going to see understanding the differences between blow through and draw through air shoes for optimal HVAC design. There are basically two types of air handling unit that are in use and they are draw through, blow through, draw through. In the draw through type, the fan pulls the air through the mixing box filters and cooling coil before discharging it from the fan outlet to the space to be conditioned or to the ducting network. The design can be vertical or horizontal. Advantages of draw through air tubes. Quieter operation due to the lower velocity of the air. Requires smaller air filters due to the lower air velocity. Generally easier to balance the air flow and ensure proper air distribution. Less susceptible to ductwork leakage, resulting in increased efficiency. Provide more flexibility in terms of the impeller type and location within the unit. Disadvantages of draw through air tubes can result in uneven temperatures due to the cross sectional airflow. More difficult to access and maintain the fan for cleaning or repair. Generally require a larger footprint compared to blow through air tubes. Higher initial cost compared to blow through air tubes may require additional sound attenuation measures due to the location of the fan within the unit. Blow through In the blow through type, the fan blows the air through the mixing box, filters and cooling coil before discharging them to the space beam condition or the ducting system. In this case, the section after the fan has positive pressure. Advantages of blow through air tubes more efficient airflow due to the straight through design. Better air distribution, resulting in more uniform temperatures. Easier to maintain and access the fan for cleaning or repair. Lower initial cost compared to draw through air tubes. Generally more compact and require less space. Disadvantages of blow through air tubes can be nauseous due to the high velocity of the air. Require larger air filters due to the higher air velocity. May require additional sound attenuation measures. Can be more difficult to balance the air flow and ensure proper air distribution. More susceptible to ductwork leakage, which can lead to energy loss and decreased efficiency. The selection criteria for a draw-through or blow-through fan in an air handling unit A2, depend on several factors including the specific requirements of the HVAC system, the application, and the building's design. Here are some general selection criteria to consider. Airflow rate, static pressure, energy efficiency, noise level, maintenance accessibility, space limitations, budget. Thanks for watching. I hope this video useful for you. Please subscribe and press notify icon. For more HVAC related videos, please share with your HVAC community. See you on next video. Bye.